There are several tier placements that countries are placed on. There's the tier one, tier two, the tier two watch list, and tier three. So there are four different tiers that a country can be placed on. I'm pleased to report and announce to the public that for 2022, Simpson Grand was placed on the tier two list. As a matter of fact, for the past six consecutive years, we have managed to, to, to have been placed on the tier two list. That is the second best tier. And to me, that means that we are doing tremendous work to combat human trafficking in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Human trafficking is a, a global crime. It affects every country, no matter how small. Um, there's human trafficking in the, in the Caribbean. I believe that one of the reasons why Sims and Grandines, you know, consistently has been placed on a tier two watch list is because of our emphasis on prevention. When you can prevent something from happening, then there's no need to, to deal with it. So our main focus is really on preventing the crime of human trafficking from ever taking root in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So what we have raised awareness about human trafficking throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We went to all of the primary schools on St. Vincent and in, in the Grenadines. We went to the community college. We train and sensitize churches, NGO groups, law enforcement, um, public servants, private sector, because the more persons are aware of human trafficking, it is easier for them to identify what is human trafficking. And identification is key to the crime of human trafficking. That's one of the red flags. If anyone out there know of someone who is a victim of trafficking or a possible victim of human trafficking, then they need to call immediately the anti-trafficking persons unit. You can get us at 457-1211 or 456-1750-911-999 or you can email us at SVG Anti Trafficking Unit at gmail.com and we are also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's important that that information is passed on to the relevant authorities, law enforcement, um, social services, Department of Gender Affairs, the the FAU, they are also stakeholders, the DPP's office. It's important that information is passed on so that we can treat with it effectively.